So in this problem, angular momentum will be conserved. So in terms of rotational motion, we can write angular momentum as I times omega. And since we have two different scenarios, one is when the star is massive and then the other scenario is when the star is collapsed. So we can denote them into two dif different entities. So one, let's say when the star is massive, the angular, uh, the moment of inertia is I1 and uh, the angular velocity corresponding to that is omega one. So from the conservation of angular momentum, we can set that equal to I two times omega two, where I two is the um, angular mom uh, moment of inertia when the star is collapsed. Similarly, omega two is the angular velocity at that time. And we know for a solid sphere, I is two over five m r squared. Now we have R1 for I1 and R2 will be for I2. So we can write two over five M R1 squared here, which is equal to two over five M R2 squared times omega two. So we can get rid of this part. And then we'll have uh, omega two which we need to figure out should that which is equal to omega one times r one by r two squared. And here omega one is given as um, one rotation per 30 days. So we convert that to radians. So we'll have two pi radians divided by 30 days. We convert that to seconds. So that's going to be 86,400 seconds per day times R1 is 7 times 10 to the power 5 kilometers and R2 is 16 kilometers. Then we take a square. So that gives us finally 4.6 times 10 to the power 3 radians per second. Thank you.